Hey, I'm Mike with woodshopmike.com, and today I'm going to show you how to build this custom screen door with materials you can get from your local Home Depot. This is a really quick and easy project, so stick around and I'll show you just how it's done. I start out by choosing the best boards out of my stash. Here I'm looking for quarter saw lumber that's as clear as possible. Alright y'all, I know that PPE can be a pain to wear, but it's incredibly important. So make sure you're protecting your eyes, lungs, and ears. Over at the miter saw, I rough cut all of my boards about one inch longer than the final length needed. At the table saw, I start out by cutting just a little off of one edge of each board. I do this to remove the rounded edge and to make one surface good and true. Next I run the freshly cut surface against the fence and I cut to my desired width. I'll repeat this process until all the boards are to the correct widths. I also rip several pieces at a quarter inch thick and these will be used for trim once the door is assembled. Back at the miter saw I cut all the pieces to their final lengths. I'll stack boards on top of each other and use stops to ensure that the cuts are as accurate as possible. Now it's time to make some pocket holes for the joinery in this door. With my Craig K5 set up, I add pocket holes to all the necessary boards. I add two holes to the end of each piece that's one and a half or three and a half inches wide. And I'll add three holes to the end of each piece that's five and a half inches wide. Using a face clamp and two and a half inch long screws, I assemble the frame and I check for square as I go. With the frame assembled, I measure across the corners to ensure the frame is square. Then I install a cross member using the small divider that'll be at the bottom of the door to set the location of that cross member. Again, using the face clamp, I secure the door with two and a half inch long screws at each end. Lastly, I center the divider and secure it into place. I like to make my own plugs for pocket hole joinery because it's so much cheaper to cut up some 3 8 inch dowel than to buy the pre-made plugs. I cut these out about two and a quarter inches long and I just store them in a tray with all my other pocket hole items. With just a little bit of glue, I install the plugs using my dead blow hammer. Once the glue is cured, I grab my multi-tool and I use a flush cut blade to make quick work trimming down all of those plugs. I run over all the plugs with my random orbit sander just to make sure that everything is good and smooth. 
After that, I run an 8th inch round over on all the edges. I think this detail improves the aesthetic of the door, and it definitely improves the feel. You may have noticed one little detail, the door got painted. I used Glidden's Grabber Primer and PPG's Timeless Paint, just so you know. So if you've ever stretched a canvas, you'll have a good idea of what's going on here. I start by centering the screen on the door and then secure one edge to the door frame with staples. On the opposite side, I apply gentle pressure and throw a few staples in. Then I add staples in between each row of existing staples, again pulling gently to stretch the screen. Now, I'll go back to the first side and repeat the process. I now work on the adjacent side in the same fashion. Once all the staples are in, I hammer them until they're all flush. This ensures that the trim will sit flat on the door. With one end of the trim cut to 45 degrees, I lay it in position on the frame. Once each piece is to the correct size, I use one inch brads to hold the trim in place. And with all the trim installed, the screen door is now finished. All right, well that's gonna wrap us up for the day. Big shout out goes to Home Depot for sponsoring this project. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, have fun making something. Ah, oh, you're still there, awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I got another one queued up for you right here. And if you want other awesome content from me, check out those. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, have fun making something.